Hi, this is David Dusek for Golf Week Magazine. During his pre-tournament press conference before the start of the Northern Trust Open, Roy McIlroy was asked about things that he's working on in his game, and he had a pretty interesting response and also gave us a little bit of a clue that he's made a slight equipment modification. McIlroy said, I tweaked my driver a little bit. I felt like I was struggling to turn it over from right to left, so I put the loft up. I put the loft up a degree in my driver to help me spin it a little bit more and to try and turn it over. And that was really it. Now, to make sure that everybody's on the same page, Roy McIlroy obviously is right-handed. And when he talks about turning it over and working it right to left, it means that he's trying to be able to hit a little bit more of a draw and literally work the ball, hit it with a curvature from right to left. And he's adding a little bit of loft to his driver. Now, Roy McIlroy plays a driver that is pretty much like this one. This is a Nike Vaporfly Pro driver, and it has an adjustable hosel mechanism right here. So Roy McIlroy generally plays his driver at about eight and a half degrees of loft. So if he's adding one degree of loft, it's as simple as using a torque wrench, unscrewing the head and putting it back in, in a nine and a half degree setting. Changing the loft on these drivers nowadays is really, really easy. But how does changing the loft, increasing the loft, actually make it easier to hit the ball from right to left? I talked to Nick Sherburn, who was one of the founders of Club Champion, as well as one of the company's master fitters, about that very thing. And he had a really interesting analogy that I'll share with you that really explains how increasing the loft is going to help Rory hit it from right to left. So if my palm and my four fingers were the golf club head and my thumb was the shaft, it's an easy way to show it. So... This is my thumbs, the shaft, so if I were to close the driver or, or add a degree of loft, my thumb's not moving, my hand or the head is. So you can see as I add loft, I actually close the face. So now I'm adding loft and I'm closing the face and that's what Rory's talking about. Now if I were to do the opposite and I was to de-loft, again, my thumb, the shaft, is not moving. It's, you know, the head's moving around that axis, so now we're opening and de-lofting. So to sort of summarize what Nick was just explaining to you, Roy McIlroy, by adding loft on his Nike driver, is going to be slightly closing the face. And by closing the face angle just a little bit, it's going to make it easier for him to hit the ball from right to left and to bring it over with that draw. I'm David Dusek for Golf Week Magazine.